Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and we've got Doug Lico from Antler Quilt Designs, and he's gonna show us his brand new simple folded corners ruler, and you're gonna love it. So tell me, tell me how it works. Hi, Kimberly. So the ruler is designed to make folded corners that are either oversized, where you get to trim them down, or you can make the exact folded corner size, and you don't have to trim at all. So there's really two options that you get to choose from. You can have 12 different sizes that you can work with, and tell me a little bit about what comes with the ruler. So what you get with the ruler is of course you get the ruler and then you get the instructions. And the instructions have both the oversized and then the no trim method as well. And so this is going to work on flying geese yep. and squaring a square. What other yep. kind of blocks so would this work with? The snowball um, connector corners so on top of the instructions. Oh, there's a little, awesome. um, little kind of row of blocks that cheat I give sheet. you. A yep, little cheat sheet of some of the stuff. But you really can do so much with the ruler. And what Doug did that I love, because I always intend to do this and then I am just never do, is you laminated it so it never gets lost, which I think is key because I always have to get new ones. Yeah. So then if you have to reference it and it doesn't get worn, it's the perfect condition every time. Okay, so let's show yes. how we do this. So we're going to start with the no trim. So basically with the ruler, you need to decide if you want to do the oversized or the exact no trim method. We're going to start with the no trim. Okay. And, and with, this would be kind of like what you traditionally do, yep. but just a little bit different. Yep. So with this, you don't have to draw any lines with the ruler. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're going to grab, you're going to cut your pieces exactly the way you would in your printed pattern that you're working with. And when um, you get to that step where you're using your folded corner pieces, mm -hmm. instead of drawing a line, you're going to place okay. them right sides together. Okay. You're going to line up the edges. So everything is neatly aligned. Mm-hmm. And then on the ruler here, there is a solid line. And the first solid line on the left is what you're going to place on the left edge of your, your folded corner square. OK, so not a dotted line, but nope. one of the solids. It's, yep, it's a solid. So there's okay. three dotted lines before, and then there's a uh, solid line. And you're going to line that line up on the left edge of your square. Then you're going to take, and you're going to trim that away. And this is going to be kind of like a quarter inch. Yep, this is your quarter inch seam allowance. Okay. And it's not a tr it's not a it's not a wide quarter inch. It's in a more exact. more scant. Yep, exact. Yeah. Okay. Once you trim that away, your piece is going to look like this. Okay. This is discard, so you can get rid of that. Or you could save it and make half square triangles. Exactly. Yes. And now you have your new sewing edge, which you're going to sew along the side mm -hmm. of. After you sew it, it's going to look like this. Now we use black thread here, just so you can see the stitches. And now you're ready to press. And then when you press, you have the finished, the finished piece. And then it's this is kind of you can just keep going. There's yep. no any no extra steps. So no need to trim. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So show me the oversized. Okay. So for the oversized, you are going to start with the base. That is exactly like your pattern says, and in the instructions, there is a chart, and this chart tells you what size you're going to need to cut your oversized square. And so this is the same size as the yep. previous. It's just the square that gets bigger. Yes, the squares. Okay. And so what you need to do in your printed pattern, you need to locate the step that you're going to um, make the folded corner in. You need to find the cut size of your square. You need to find the finish size. So you have to take a half inch off the cut mm -hmm. size to get your finish size. And then you're going to go to the column on the chart. Okay. And then in the chart, it will tell you what size. So today we're working with a four inch finish folded corner. Okay. So it's telling me that if I go down to number two, it's telling me I need to cut a five and a quarter inch square. Okay. So we cut a five and a quarter inch square. And next you're going to take and you're going to cut that corner to corner. So cross cut it once. Okay. And then you're going to have your triangles. You're going to have two triangles. Okay. And then you're going to you're going to have your base, which you need to trim away the piece as well, so you can sew your corner to. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take the number one, the cutaway line, and you're going to put the four and a half inch line on the right edge. Okay. And you're going to line the solid line up here, and you're going to line the four and a half inch line up here. And you're going to be able to kind of line up all four sides. Mm -hmm. um, with the ruler, there's a quarter inch grid and a half inch grid. So you have everything. You can line up all your pieces, um, any size of your base, anything, so it's really nice and accurate. Then you're going to take and trim that away. Okay. And that's similar to the first step. Yep. And we did it the same. It's yep. pretty much the same. It's just you only have the one layer, just your base. Okay. And then that's the discard piece. Okay. So now you have a trimmed base, and then you have your oversized folded corner uh -huh. that you're going to add on. You're going to take and you're going to pair them right sides together, 
and you can kind of eyeball and line up the middle. It doesn't have to be too exact because it is oversized. Right, and I like that because then maybe you don't have to pin mm -hmm. so many times. Yep. That's going to save you time. Exactly. And then now when you go to sew it, you can sew it where the base fabric is on top or you can put the base fabric on the bottom. It's really your personal preference. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So then once it is sewn, it's going to look like this. And again, we sewed it in black just so you can see the seam. But one of the things you'll notice is that when you sew this edge, you're, you're going to sew right to that point and you don't even have to work really hard to get that point mm -hmm. because it's trimmed perfectly and that's where your seam allowance is going to come out. Then you're ready to press this. And of course, you're going to press as indicated in your printed mm -hmm. pattern. And I can see already this is going to save a ton of time because you don't have to draw your line. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So then you're going to have your oversized corner okay. that's looking like this. And we're going to grab the ruler. And so as well as the ruler has the cutaway section, it also has the trim down. And so the trim down right here is what we're going to use. Okay. And you're going to take um, on number three, that there's going to tell you the trim line that you're going to use. And we're going to use the four inch trim line. So we're going to find the diagonal line that says four. And we are going to place that on our seam. Okay. And that is just going to go perfectly like that. Wow. And as you can tell, it lines up perfectly on there. And at the bottom. At the bottom Everywhere. and on the side. And that's one of the things when I designed the ruler is I want it to be really accurate as far as you mm -hmm. can line up your whole entire base piece or your pieces. Mm -hmm. And then as you can tell, this is your overage that you get to trim. Okay. So you're basically going to get a finished flying geese or... Yep, finished folded corner unit. Yeah, anything, and it's come just going to come out perfect. Yep. And this is, like, amazing. We should have had this, like, 50 years ago. Yes. This is awesome, Doug. Tell me what is the largest flying geese you can use. What is the largest unit you can cut so from the ruler? You can do a 6-inch finished folded corner. Okay. And so one of the things that you can do with it is you can do all the... You know, you can do the one corner. You can do the flying geese, like you said. You can do the snowball blocks. And some of the examples I have... So here's your flying geese that you can do with the with mm -hmm. the ruler. And you can see how precise it is. Yep, it comes out accurate. And you can the on the ruler, since it has the quarter inch and half inch grid, you can lay the ruler right on top. And you can line up your pieces just to make check your accuracy. And it's perfect. So, so it's perfect. Then the next one you can do is a double folded corner segment. Okay. So that has two corners on one rectangle. Okay. You can make star points. And the star points are really fun, and you can trim them down so they're more accurate. Mm -hmm. So again, you don't have to sew in any lines. The next one you can do is the snowball block, which is kind of what we talked about. Right. So four corners on there, and a, trim it down so it's perfect. Okay. Or you can do one corner. Just one corner. Yep. Well, this is amazing. Thank you so Thank much you, for sharing this. And of course, you can find this ruler at the Fat Quarter Shop. Mm -hmm.